Premiere Pro 14.6 just rolled out and with it, they're introducing the feature called Quick Export. Now I actually already talked about this feature on a previous video while this feature was in beta, but now it's in the full blown version of Premiere Pro. So let me show you what it does. At the end of your project, if you're looking for a quick way to export it, now they have the Quick Export button up here on the top right. If you click right here, you can designate where you want your final export to go on your computer. They also give you a quick preset menu that's optimized for videos that you're gonna be uploading loading to the internet, hence why all of the quick preset functions are H.264. So you could do adaptive high bit rate, medium bit rate, low bit rate, or 4K, 1080p, 720p, or all the way down to a quote unquote high quality 480p SD wide, which could kind of make sense if you wanted to make your file size really small to attach it to a email and get some confirmations on how something looks really quick and then export something bigger down the line. Below the drop down preset menu, you'll get a lot of the most important parameters that you'll need to know, like the format H.264, the resolution, the frame rate, how it's going to encode this, the duration, and your audio settings. Also, what's really nice to know is the estimated file size. So like right here, it's 698, but if I were to go down to that 480p, now it goes all the way down to 194, as opposed to the 698. And the beauty of all of this is right here with this nice blue export button. You just tap that and immediately it just starts exporting for you. I think this feature is gonna really help people that are new to Premiere Pro and they just want a button to click to get the export out the door and share with the world, as well as for other video editors, if they just want a quick way to export their files to send for reference or however that situation may play out, it's just nice to have a quick export button now inside Premiere Pro. And just like that, with quick export, my video was exported successfully. Now, if you do need the parameters that you would normally be accustomed to, you can always go back to file, export media, and this is the normal export settings menu. Nothing's changed here, as well as if you needed to hit Q and send your videos over to Media Encoder. If you're looking for a much more in-depth explanation of the export settings within Premiere Pro, I highly encourage you to check out this video. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.